Revelation 482, from the 25th of June 1938. Power of God. Inner Sight. Desire. The more intimately you seek the connection with the Lord, the easier the gifts will come to you, because spiritual activity is always synonymous with the power that flows from the Lord into the human being. If now the Lord can work through beings that are completely absorbed in Him, then this power will also be able to express itself more and more and will finally be able to work directly. This is a process that is equivalent to the long distance effect of the sun's rays. The power of these rays is not always equally strong. So they first have to overcome many obstacles, the power is weakened and arrives on earth in diminished strength. Likewise, the power of grace radiating from the Lord will touch the heart much more strongly and intensely when it is, so to speak, completely open to the Lord. Sometimes a single moment of innermost devotion can draw the divine power so strongly that this one moment opens up a knowledge to the earthly child by virtue of the inner vision. At such a moment all physical and spiritual obstacles are overcome, and then the work of the Godhead in the human child is so evident that all doubts are henceforth banished from such a heart. The human soul wants to be supported, it wants to be continuously nourished by God's grace, without this it is not able to take up the fight against its binding envelopment. But where the grace of God expresses itself in such a way that it is granted a glimpse into the spiritual life, there the will of such a soul is greater than great. And it reaches its goal over all obstacles. The deity only acts to satisfy desire as the granting of heavenly bliss but otherwise only to stir up more desire. The more fervently and more desirous the heart beats towards the Saviour, the brighter this may look, but always only to inflame in still hotter longing for the Divine Lord. But this longing will only be satisfied when the earthly child has entered the eternal kingdom. In his unspeakable love and goodness, however, the Lord also temporarily, opens up the realms of bliss to his children on earth. He hears the most subtle stirrings of the heart, and where the mind is so prepared that he has found it worthy of extraordinary grace, there the divine Son of Grace shines with undiminished power and fills such a child's heart. Amen.